The 2022 BattleBots tapings have officially begun, and with that comes a sprawl of news from the BattleBots pits this year in Vegas. And uh, we've heard exciting news about alternates, but we've also heard some unfortunate news about robots pulling out this year, with the first one of those being Doom, the 2022 rookie from Team APT. We are talking all about this unfortunate news right now here at the Combot Collective. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to yet another news episode here at the Combot Collective, bringing you everything you want to know about the 2022 BattleBots season. And today we are finally talking about some news from the 2022 BattleBots taping, some news from the pits. As uh, as we speak, maybe even right now, um, robot fights are happening in Las Vegas. Some of the best combat robot teams from around the world. Of course, teams like Riobots, Robo Challenge, Fast Electric Robots, 2022 Champion, Seems Reasonable Robotics. Oh yes, Robotics, the Golden Bolt Holders. You know what I'm talking about here. All these robots are currently right now fighting in Vegas. And in January, we are finally going to see uh, the 2022 BattleBot season happen. Super excited about that. Stay tuned, of course, on Discovery for that to go down. But today, we are, of course, talking about BattleBots news from the pits as filming is going down. But unfortunately, it's not the greatest of news as we've already had plenty of developments occur at the 2022 BattleBots tapings already. We have heard about surprising robots taking the role of alternates. Uh, the return of Tazbot in a unique capacity, Walker Robot, and now even Robot's dropping out of the 2022 season. The first thing we're going to start here in a series of news videos we're going to be posting here on the channel. As uh, the Californian rookies of Team APT and their robot, Doom, have uh, failed to pass safety and therefore will be missing the 2022 BattleBots regular season. Doom was a very promising newcomer candidate that we covered earlier this year in one of our applicant rundowns, a robot which that all three of us predicted would be going all the way through the application process and making it to BattleBots this year correctly. Uh, everything from the robot to the team itself seemed to match the criteria needed for a BattleBots team, with Team Captain Alejandro Pena having a history with numerous other robots such as FRC robots, task following machines, and even smaller prototype versions of Doom. The team varied in skills and seemed knowledgeable, a good force for a robot which seemed like an incredibly ambitious concept, a pyramid-shaped, omni-driven, four-wheel drive hammer saw, but a concept which, like I said earlier, was pushed through three prior smaller versions, so it seemed like Alejandro Pena knew what he was getting himself into with this brand new robot design. But that was all the way back in May of this year. Let's now fast forward to October the 16th when pictures of all the robots started to unveil, and we would see some shots of doom in the pits. It looked like an absolute tank, armed with the overhead arm and the solid armor that we were expecting, but in turn it was also missing its hellacious looking livery. And according to one picture we have right here, also missing the Omni Drive, which uh, was promoted on the team's application video. Despite this, hopes and optimism for this robot was still very high, um, as we saw on the Team Scorpius vlog video. Uh, and even at King of Draft, the event that we live streamed earlier in the month, I hope some of y'all saw that. I uh, had a lot of people who intended to pick Doom fairly early in that draft. But of course, none of them would pick Doom, and here's why. On the 18th of October, the first day of the 2022 season filming, we would hear news from last minute pit crew member for Doom, a guy named Josh, via a Discord server that Doom would in fact not be present for BattleBots 2022's regular season and playoffs, as I quote here. We didn't make it in time to pass safety. Long story short is that we won't be in the main show other than as a tense build up to the fact we won't be in the main show. But if we get everything ready by Saturday there will be additional fights we can do that go in another BattleBots series. I think the additional series is Sin City Slugfest. So yes, as uh, Josh would say here, Doom would not make it through safety. We, uh, we don't exactly know the details on this situation as of yet, but it could be anything from pure rookie ignorance or inexperience or just safety violations, something like White Rabbit back in the day. 
Josh would later state that Doom almost made it through near the deadline, which makes me believe that the robot itself was operational prior, but perhaps had some battery drive or ESC dilemma, or maybe even arrived overweight with a team unable to shave off enough pounds to qualify, something along that level, something small. But uh, the robot ultimately did seem quite unready compared to the hype CADs and videos that we'd seen up to this point, with the aforementioned lack of paint drop and the regular wheels on the robot, so uh, who knows. But uh, there is a bright side of all this, though. Of course, last year at Battle Boss Champions and Vengeance of Vegas, we saw a small handful of robots compete at these events exclusively, from the Cannonbot, Double Jeopardy, the legendary former Battle Boss Champion, Perfect Phoenix, and of course, the returning Big Dill. These robots, which for one reason or another missed the 2021 Battle Bots regular season, will get another chance at glory and gold after the main season. And according to Josh, the Battle Bots crew bots have informed Team APT that if they could get Doom ready before that upcoming Saturday, the 22nd of October, that the robot would qualify for the Golden Bolt tournament or some sort of televised event. Like what Josh said, I also think it's probably just going to be the Golden Bolt tournament, Battle Bots champions, whatever you want to call it. And given that the team, quote unquote, almost got through, really does let me believe that we are going to be seeing Doom appear in some capacity, likely as a Champions exclusive competitor, which of course comes with its disadvantages and advantages for Team APT. Doom is going to have one and a half weeks to see the other 50 plus robots compete, see their weaknesses and strengths before the Golden Bolt tournament. But alternatively, Doom will not have the testing and proving ground, which can only be replicated by actually fighting inside the battle box, something which will leave the hammer saw completely untested with plenty of weaknesses for this competition. As of when I recorded this, this has to be the major target for Alejandro Pena right now, and uh, the Combat Collective, which is Team APT, the best of luck. Doom is definitely a sick robot, and we would love to see it in action. But uh, finally here, as we wrap up, this poses a brand new question. Who replaces Doom? To our knowledge, Doom was not an alternate and was slated to have the full four fight regular season. But now one of our known alternates like Dragon King or Big Dill may get the chance or potentially even some other surprise alternate will be taking Doom's position in the 2022 BattleBots World Championship. A major opportunity and exactly how robots like Yeti and Mad Ketter started their legendary BattleBots careers. But for now, like we always say at the Combot Collective, only time will tell. That's going to wrap it up. That's everything right now we know about Doom at BattleBots 2022. Like I said, hopefully we can see these guys compete at exhibition matches or hopefully really the BattleBots Champions Tournament. Maybe we can see these guys be a shock team the whole step to go in and bolt. We're still going to be talking about these guys in our BattleBots rundown later on in the year. And speaking of the BattleBots rundown, you can of course expect more live event rundowns uk rundowns from the combat collective i know we were gone for a couple of weeks uh, i was definitely putting a lot of focus on the king of draft stream but now that's passed behind us i'm back working on those two rundown episodes and i also have three more um battle bots 2022 news videos coming up here three of which i'm sorry two more of which are talking about the 2022 battle bots tapings happening right now one more of which pertaining to battle bots 2022 and the whole heavyweight scene in total another robot unfortunately retiring we'll be talking about deadlift here in a later video hopefully we can get pori nog on for that one but that's what you can expect here at the combat collective but before i leave you guys today i do want to ask you one question real quick maybe you guys can voice something in the comments really enjoyed doing that live stream that we had uh a couple days ago for the King of Draft live stream, we actually peaked up at somewhere around, I want to say, 15 to 20 viewers. Got a lot more traction than I even expected, which was super cool. But uh, I was definitely thinking of doing some more chill live streams in the future. If you haven't noticed, for like the past forever since I started King of Draft, I have uh, two Vex kits I've never put together. Some generic robot kit, and I recently got this bad boy at uh, the place I actually work at. It was really cheap, so why not? Like 15 bucks, so has multiple configurations i was thinking of doing some chill streams talk about robot combat battle bots any any uh any competition as a whole with you guys well i put one of these dudes together here on stream maybe put on some chill background music we'll see what i end up doing but uh just more content here for the collective i hope you guys enjoyed what we're doing please sound off if you know what this is and you know what any of these are um maybe i can put it in the corner screen i don't know if i'm actually going to do that here look at that can you see that can you see that? I bet you can't. It doesn't matter. If you know what I'm talking about, tell me which robot we should put on uh, the stream and build here. Because there's 12 options. But anyway, that's just something for the future I would like to do. 
But I'm going to let you guys go now. This has been the Combot Collective. I am your host, as always, Sterling Brown. You can find me on Instagram, at SterlingTXTG. And uh, for the Combot Collective, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook. You can find those in the description below. You can also join our Discord server. That is where all of our TCC upload news goes out first. That will be in our description below as well. Please join our community. We're trying to get a bit more activity happening down there. But, of course, the YouTube channel right here. Please give us a like, comment, mainly on that, uh, and a subscription for the page here. We appreciate all your support, all of your constructive criticism. We're trying to make the Combat Collective better and uh, bigger every single day here. It's a big project, and we've now passed over a year of doing it. I'm super excited about that, and I can't wait to do more with you guys talking about the 2022 BattleBot season and beyond. I'm going to let you go, though. I am Sterling Brown, as always. This is the Combat Collective, and we will see you guys next time. This was the Combat Collective. I'm the hardest hard ram and this core.